Let's talk about when it's time to try smarter. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Prosperity TV. Randy Gage here coming to you from my place in San Diego. And I want to talk about when it's time to stop trying harder and start trying smarter. Doing my workout today in the gym, there's a guy working out, I noticed uh, he's 80 or 100 pounds overweight, older guy, uh, and I notice him as I'm going through my workout, I see him, he does three, four reps on this machine, he walks over there, he does three, four reps on another machine, he goes over there, three couple of reps on a different machine, very bad form, he doesn't understand which machines are for what muscles probably. Uh, he's, he's not doing them in a way that's safe. He's probably endangering his back and pulling muscles. And, and I thought, it, I, I hate to see that. I, I love the fact that the guy's in there working out. That's wonderful, man. All the, you know, t hats off to him for being in there working out. For sure he's going to get some benefit. He's doing some exercise. He's doing something as opposed to sitting on the sofa eating bonbons watching Oprah, right? So I get that and I love that, but I also kept thinking what a waste it is because this guy isn't going to get the results he's really looking for because he's not doing the workout in a smart way. He needs some help. And uh, I think of when I first started working out, same thing, I was always going to the gym, I wasn't getting any results and finally I said, I, you know, I was starting to put on some pounds and I was getting out of shape and it wasn't working what I was doing. And then I went and hired a professional, I hired a personal trainer and I could tell by his physique and his eyes and his skin and his hair, this guy knew health and wellness and he was qualified to teach me. We've talked about that before, some of the shows on mentoring and picking a mentor and things like that. But most importantly, what he did for me is he taught me how to work out smart. He taught me how to work out in a way that would get the results that I was looking for. And why I bring all that up this week is here's the question for you. What is the area in your life right now? What is the project you're working on? What is the problem you're working on? What is the obstacle you're facing right now that instead of working harder, you need to stop, regroup, rethink, be a critical thinker, and work smarter? So what is that for you? If you're willing to share it, uh, put it down in the comments below. Uh, I will tell you, my, uh, my whole thing, my rule is, uh, you know I'm a baseball guy, so it's a three strikes you're out. When I'm trying something three different times, when I go at something and it doesn't work, to me that usually means, okay, the universe is sending me a message, that's not the way I'm supposed to be doing that, I've tried it three times, I've failed three times, I need to, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh time, that isn't really the answer, I need to back up, be a critical thinker and say, hey, how do I approach this a different way? Even in the simplest things. The other day I was looking for my eyeglasses and I walked everywhere in the house and I checked all the usual places. I could not find my eyeglasses. And so I said, uh, and, I, and I literally did it two or three times. I looked at all the places where my eyeglasses would be and, and I still didn't find it. And uh, so finally I said, okay, now I need to change the perspective. So instead of coming here and looking at my desk from here, I went over there and looked at my desk from there. And to go everywhere in the house, and same thing, I just changed the perspective. And of course, when I did that in the living room and I changed the perspective, I saw that they had fallen off the sofa. I have this really crazy, uh, not shag, but kind of a shag, kind of a big, thick pile rug that the, the eyeglasses had fallen down, they were buried in the rug. And no matter how many times I looked from that angle, I was never going to see them. But when I changed the perspective, in this case, working smarter, I saw them right away. Oh, there they are on the floor. They fell off. They're in the rug. So that's the question. What is the area in your life where you should be doing that right now? Uh, let me know what you think. Please share this in your Facebook stream if you're watching it there. And if you're on YouTube, please uh, hit the like button and use the share buttons here. Until next week, peace. Love you guys and live rich.
next Monday going to be sexy because we're going to talk about moving toward greatness. See you then.